Hello scientists, I will show you how to draw nuclear storms in Inkscape. First, I will turn the grids on. This will help us to locate the structures. I'll grab the ellipse tool and draw an ellipse like this. And then let's grab our rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle like this. Now make a copy. And then place this one here. Let me activate this function, toggle snap to bounding points. It can help me to snap it to the right place. This one, select these two. And then come to path, click on object to path. So now they are a path, then we can path a union. So now you see they fuse together and when I move this lips to the top, then it looks like a cylinder. We need to slice these uh, shapes into a few parts. Make a rectangle, then remove the fill. I'll give the outline a different color so we can see it better. All right, and let's go to path and then click on divide, uh, click on division. You see, now you have uh, two slices of your um, histone body. Now, let me make a copy of this. Also remove the fill. Again, convert it to path. And then break this path open. And delete it. So we get this... Um, we get this curve. And I just move it over here. The nice thing about grid is that uh, you can measure how long uh, you can have measurements on your shapes. And apparently, this is the this part is a little bit too short. So we can extend it. Select the nodes here. And then just move the whole thing over here. So you see now it is also six grids in length. And I'll do the same for these. I'll make a copy of the curve for this one over here and then Select the top uh, part and then with the curve, then we can make division. And then let me put this part back here and do it with the lower part of our histone. -da -da, there you go. See, now you have four equal parts of your histone. Okay, now we need to cut these into four. This is much easier than the side view because we can just draw a straight line and then click on division. Oh, I need to select both of them. Click on the path division. And then let me draw another straight line like this. Okay. And one more. First, a gray outline. Let me do these. 
Yeah, these seems good. And then we need linear gradient here. See, here's a linear gradient. And for a top color, let's use a darker orange and then a slightly lighter one. And the cool thing about Inkscape, Inkscape is that you can cop, you can apply the gradient. Open the fill and stroke panel. Then you can come to the gradient and you can select the same gradient right here, like this. But now the direction is wrong. I'll make it perpendicular again. For this part, we need a new gradient like this. And then here. Yeah, much better. Okay, good. That is our histo. Group them again and make a copy and put them up here. I'll scale them down to a size like this. The outline needs to be thinner. I'll group them. So now I can modify the outline. And then the body of uh, the side view is a little bit too thick. Let me press it down like that. And that's rotated for a few degrees. Make a few copies. Okay, uh, I'll be drawing the DNA. And so let's just grab the Bizier tool. And then draw a line like this over here. I'll change its color to a dark blue. Okay, I'll make it thicker and then change the cap to round cap. Then I'll drag the Bizier curve handle out by holding shift and drag. It'll be like this. Okay, and then we draw another DNA over here. Then I'll also make it thicker, round cap, dark, blue, stroke. Okay, then you can adjust, adjust it a little bit. Um, the corner will fit right at the edge of your histone. So it looks like wrapping around the histone. And draw a fragment of DNA like this. Okay, then copy this part. and move it over here to the next histone. So here's a fragment of the DNA that we need to connect it with the big one. Let's switch to the Bizier tool and you can, you can add a new node over here and you can delete this one. And now select both of the both of these nodes and then connect them here. You see the join selected nodes. Now they're joined. You can make nodes symmetric. We can adjust the length of uh, the length of the handle and we get to have these um, DNA wrapping around our stone. And then I can make this a little bit longer. And then I'll move everything to the front. The end of this DNA is hiding behind the histone. Let's make a copy of this. And move this part over here. Okay. Make a copy of the this. And Let's select these two nodes and move it all the way here. You need to send all these to the back. Okay, now you have your nucleosome. 